Thank you so much for being here. We've got Jackie Jordan in the house. She's a two-time Emmy-nominated TV producer, wow. pop culture expert. Thank you, thank you. Good morning. Happy to be here. So tell us, how are you, do you wake up and stay woke? What's your morning? I, yeah, I'm an early bird. I'm like early to bed, early up. It's a journal, prayer, meditation, walk the dog, gym, and then my honey makes me breakfast. Wow, love that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Hopefully that rubs off on me. I'm going to have to sit real close to you, Jackie, this morning. Well, thank you so much for being with us. We look forward to continuing the conversation with each of you later in the show. Thanks. Well, I gotta... Welcome back to Ever Talk Live. We are so excited to welcome two-time Emmy-nominated producer, pop culture expert, Jackie Jordan. Thanks so much for being here Thank this you morning. so much for having me here. Yeah. So, you know, we've been talking a lot about equality. Yes. And rumor has it, Gen X has lost its voice. Well, through my work as a pop culture expert and also in my primary business, TV Guestbert, TV Guestbert Publishing, we were, we're getting ready to publish a book called Culture Shock by Dr. Joanna Massey. And through the research of that book and through our other observations, we notice that Gen X, which is my generation, doesn't have a voice. Mm. And they don't have really a voice in the media. We can see it specifically in the landscape of the political landscape. The last 26 years, it's been a consecutive baby boomer in public office, and certainly Gen X our age group is qualified and ready should be there but we have millennials stepping into the political campaign many women millennials have taken congressional positions and, and congressional seats so this latch key generation generation x while the millennials and the gens uh, their kid sister gen uh <laughs> the gen, gen z, z is, yeah step in we call them the millennials 150 million of these. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> step into the workforce Gen X is still kind of the latchkey kid, kind of the middle child syndrome of the generation. It's so interesting, interesting though, because Gen X raised millennials. They <laughs> gave exactly. Us our voice. That's exactly. So it's almost like, well, thank you for raising <laughs> us. But That's you're exactly welcome. what my office says. Is thank you. Yeah, but for stepping up and using our voice. We're not trying to take over, but we're really trying to step into a space and create our own, where we see the room for opportunity, and where we don't see the room, we make it. Mm. So we did really a great job as parents because millennials and the younger generations have no problem stepping up, stepping out, voicing their concerns, voicing inequality, vo putting voice to it. But the Gen Xers are still not putting their voice to it. We do see it in certain situations. So the Me Too movement was a, essentially a very big Gen X movement. So it was kind of this, we're not going to take this anymore. Yeah. Um, a, place, but we're still being left out in terms of Madison Avenue is not targeting Gen X for their opinion and going after them for their money, even though that Gen X makes 31% uh, of the income and we're only 25% of the population. Wow. Yeah. So, but what I also found out in the research around this was that Gen X and millennials actually have a big hand in the electoral college. Mm -hmm. So again, kind of proving that Gen X is really working behind the scenes. We're an integrator generation, a, a bridge generation. We are the one who horizontally had to integrate from the pay phone to the flip phone to the smartphone. But our kids never had to do that. We were just, you were just born with a smartphone. Yes. And you're faster at it than anybody <laughs> in Gen X. And you intuitively know. And, you know, at this point, and probably in most households, you know, the parents will now say to the kids, hey, can you order, you know, the takeout food from DoorDash or Grubhub? You know, it's not the old chore of, you know, telling dad what you want for dinner and him having to go out and get it. So right. things have changed. Mm. Some of the interesting consequences that are going to be interesting in this, like, next decade to see is that with the younger generations, they don't have have a concept like they don't because everything's been instant mm. instant gratification and since the millennials and the younger generations have been photographed since in the womb so you know having being part of a selfie nation is super easy for millennials but gen x we didn't grow that way we, we had the polaroid camera yeah. we had the kodak <laughs> disposable yeah. camera we're a little bit more a little bit more shy yeah. and i certainly see that with a lot of the clients that we work with at tv guestbert because we, we put people out in the media and help them with their foster their expression of themselves and the gen xers who are a lot of you know business owners and entrepreneurs doing great things behind the scenes kind of just go like oh, yeah okay if i have to do it as a business tool I'll do it but like this doesn't really feel comfortable but my kids really right. great at it so those are all the places that we're seeing the the discrepancies in the generate in in the different generations
Fascinating. So if there's a Gen Xer out there here, what would you recommend they do if they want to increase their influence and their visibility in the world um, or in the workplace, um, but do it in a way that feels authentic to them? Exactly. I think the I think that's exactly what Gen X really wants is that it has to be authentic. Yeah. And you know, we you know when we started in our workforce, it was a big deal that the fax machine came in. And I know it sounds like I can't believe I'm selling like my <laughs> grandmother. I had to walk through school in snow, you know, with the lunchbox. You know, but it's really we have been the the bridge and the integrators in the workforce because it's you know okay boomer and then the millennials are really taking a lot of leadership roles but studies shows that keeping the gen x in the mix is the bridge for really diverse achieving the diversity and um, integration within the cultural and in the workplace Wow. Well, thank yeah. you so much for sharing your insight, Jack. Please tell everyone where they can find follow you and, of course, get your incredible book. Well, thank you so much. So, uh, Front and Center podcast uh, uh, on Instagram and, of course, TV Guestbert on Instagram or Facebook. Uh, you can find us in uh, many of those places. Fantastic. And, and the yeah. books? And the books. Oh, yeah. Books are on Amazon, Heartfelt Marketing. Uh, we'll also be at the Con Front and Center podcast. We'll be at the Conscious Life Expo this weekend, too. Oh, love yeah, it. Doing, Everybody's cool yeah, cool going to be there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're going to be at the Oscars, which is also super <laughs> cool, like, too. Fashion I know. Week, LA Art Show, Conscious on. Life Expo, yes. the Oscars. Woo. You can see the big Vanity Fair tent going up up the street oh, right my now. Oh, yes. Very exciting. High vibes to us all. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much, Jackie. Thank Stay tuned. We'll be back with more on Apertalk Live.